Hi, my name is Robert Turin. I'd like to show you a uh, freeware program I've written called A Rover for Windows, which you're welcome to uh, download and use on as many computers as you like for free. So um, basically the program is a um, on-screen pixel ruler, which allows you to uh, measure things on your uh, Windows computer screen. So um, how that works is uh, um, it's, it's just a, a basic ruler here and uh, you can change the length of it uh, by drag clicking on these little buttons here and dragging, uh, dragging them to make them bigger or smaller. Um, you can also change the, the ruler to an exact length by, by entering that uh, in the uh, little box there. Um, there's a whole bunch of uh, me measuring options so you can click anywhere on the ruler to, um, to um, draw a measuring line. Uh, press C will uh, clear that measuring line. I'll show you all the all the commands uh, later, but that's uh, just an idea of one. Uh, another letter you can press is M, it uh, draws a line in the middle of the ruler. Uh, a T uh, will divide the ruler into three thirds, and uh, the G uh, draws a, a golden racial line. Um, all the all the commands uh, you'll find uh, described here in the help. Um, so here C, uh, G, M, for example, uh, and T, the ones that we've spoken about. I'll bring the second version of the ruler up here. Uh, and uh, we'll look at some other ones. So uh, another one is uh, um, R, which will change the direction or reverse the direction of the numbers on the ruler. So you can see that like that. If you want to switch them around, um, the this... Uh, little number here shows you the length of the ruler. You can toggle that on and off by pressing the L key. You can also change the, uh, the where the ticks are on the ruler by either clicking here or pressing the I key. And uh, the slash allows you to um, change uh, the ruler from horizontal to vertical. Um, another thing that we can do is if we want to uh, measure uh, really fine on the on the screen here. What we can do is we can use a magnification level. Here I'm going to magnify the screen up to two times, uh, but you can uh, magnify something up to uh, up to four times um, to get an idea. Uh, what we'll do is just uh, we can press the arrow keys to change uh, the position of the uh, the ruler, and if you hold down the shift key. You can actually just move the measuring line only, and that will give you a more exact length of uh, the thing that you need to measure. Pressing escape uh, returns the ruler to its uh, to its regular size. Um, another thing you can do is change the skins on the ruler. Um, this is, and sorry, all these little uh, commands here, they're displayed also in the help. And there's a little pop-up balloon here that you can, uh, if you have the help balloons option here, uh, check. It'll just show you what they all mean. So this one here allows you to change the, the skin of the ruler. And there's a whole bunch of uh, ones you can choose from. Or you can uh, or you can create your own. So, um, for example, if I go here into Edit Skins, uh, I can create my own rulers. Uh, here we go. Just pick one of these. I can change the color of the lines. I can add a new image. So in this case, I've used a brick wall, but you can use uh, any picture you want. Uh, the ruler can be made to be transparent, that is to say, see-through, so such that you can see through the ruler um, when you uh, when you define it. Um, all the ruler definitions, if you click on the word uh, locate here, uh, are stored on your own computer, and this is where they'd be stored. It just shows you where they are. Uh, you can actually uh, take a, take one of those uh, um, files and send it to a friend if you've created your own ruler skin. Um, you can just email it to them. Uh, if you click the click uh, here for more free skins, um, what uh, what the program will allow you to do is go to the website and I'll just close the ruler down here. Uh, and you can here's a bunch of the skins and here's one for example and I just uh, double click on that. Oops, open it up twice, but just open one of these and we'll find that it uh, it loads and creates. Um, the ruler skin, so I've got a new ruler skin there. Um, another, uh, another thing we do is click here and that'll change us between the ruler skins. 
And um, another feature of the ruler is it allows you to use it as a reading guide. So um, if I press the F key, it uh, changes the look of the ruler to just a kind of a bar that you would use across the screen. Here, I'll open, open up a second instance again. And uh, we'll go to the help. And then we can use this bar to kind of read more clearly uh, text on the screen. So the, the bar, if you move the, the cursor to the edges, uh, will uh, bring up the controls. And again, the S key, uh, I'm sorry, on the bar you can go vertical or horizontal with as well. Um, the, um, the S key then, uh, well, and you, sorry, and you can also change the skin on the bar as well. Um, and um, sorry, the S key then changes it back to a ruler. Uh, here I've chosen the, the, the plastic see-through ruler, so you can actually see through the ruler, and that's using that transparency feature I talked about earlier. Um, go to the skins here. I can say wood. Go back to the wood. Um, what you can also see is uh, the program supports many languages. Um, so there's uh, Italian, French, like that. Um, the, uh, the program itself also has a feature where um, it says, uh, here, uh, fence the ruler. And what that does is, with that option check, uh, the ruler, uh, um, I've got a second screen here, so it'll move over to the second screen. But I don't have a screen over on this side, so it won't let me, it won't let me go beyond the bounds uh, of this screen here or here. Uh, if I uncheck that, that option, um, it'll allow me to, here again, I have a second screen over on that side, you just can't see it in the video, but here I have, I don't have a second screen, but it will allow me to go past that if I want to go past that for whatever reason. And that's what the fence, re, uh, fence uh, rule guide option is. The, the bump option, it's more for the, um, the, um, uh, the ruler guide, so let me just bring up a sorry, reading guide. Let me bring up a reading guide here. S, make it there. And what the bump option does is if I press the space key, uh, the, the reading guide will go down uh, that number of, uh, of pixels on my screen. So it makes it reading just a little bit more easier. Um, the license for the, the program is such that you're welcome to use as many copies as you like for free. It's a Creative Commons uh, license. Uh, basically, you're free to copy and uh, redistribute the program uh, and uh, and use it as much as you want for free. And uh, other than that, uh, um, if you want more information, go to the website by clicking here. And there's a, a donate button if you want to donate uh, uh, a little bit of uh, money to the product. So, um, but that's optional. Anyways, uh, I really enjoyed writing the program and uh, I hope uh, you can make good use of it. And uh, again, you're welcome to use it as much as you like for free. Thank you very much.